Meanwhile, else, elsewhere in the drama verse, there is Nick Fuentes. Now, you may remember a couple months ago, Kanye West had a little bit of a melty, and he decided that he was going to single handedly crusade against the Jews, become president, and destroy Israel with the nuclear option. It did not go as planned. He seemed to have lost all of his money, all of his sponsorships. He got sued by Nike to try and get back money um, that he had been given just for signing, like a signing bonus, so on and so forth. And then he decided to put on board his presidential campaign, Nick Fuentes, Milo Yiannopoulos, and Ali Alexander. So the Mexican leader of the white race, He's also probably a closeted homosexual. Milo Yiannopoulos, a gay, a closet, a re-closeted homosexual British coal burner who is also bankrupt, I think. Yeah, I think he did go to bankrupt. And then Ali Alexander, a brown bisexual. And with the squad, with the gang all there... Kanye West was sure to win against the Jays as long as they could stay together and remain loyal to each other and to Christ because Christ is Kang. That did not happen. Uh, as anyone could expect, Melianopolis, the king of snakes and the king snake himself, immediately turned on everybody. Uh, I think that the campaign is done. I, don't, I really don't know where it's at. Or what they're doing. I think what hap I think what hap on our literally what happened is that Kanye West, um, a, a lady, a nice lady, said, uh, "We'll have sex if you take your meds." And then Kanye West was like, "Shit, man, I ain't about taking the meds and shit, man." And she was like, "But I have warm holes to present to you if you take your meds." I was like, "Ah, right, man, let me just want some shit, man. I'll take my meds." And so he did, and ever since then, he appears to be um, completely disinterested in uh, uh, unleashing nuclear hellfire against the state of Israel. Uh, that's that's my interpretation of events. I could be wrong, but that's uh, that seems to be what has happened. So now, um, with Milo Yiannopoulos left with nobody to steal money from, uh, he has decided to turn inwards and fight with Milo or with uh, Nick Fuentes, and Ali Alexander. Uh, Milo has repeatedly said that he keeps a repository of dirt on absolutely everybody that he talks to. Milo literally is the is disgusting. Like, why anybody, for any reason, would say, like, would tell anything to Milo? How fucking retarded do you have to be? How do you not look at Milo Yiannopoulos and say, look, you know, here, I <laughs> maybe I'm biased, But here is a picture of an insane man, one of the most insane people that has ever lived. Um, and Milo Yiannopoulos just sitting together, hanging out. That, that guy, I, I can't even get into it. The guy on the left. But if you know, know who he is, you know who he is. It was Milo and him just hanging out. That guy, Milo was his idol. Milo was his Gamergate crush that he looked up to so fondly. And that should tell you everything you need to know. That Milo has the ideal character traits that Samuel Collingwood Smith wished he had and wanted to befriend an ally with. So whenever I hear that someone has allowed Milo Yiannopoulos within a six mile radius of them voluntarily. I'm just thinking, are you fucking retarded? And I automatically answer my question with an answer saying, yes, you are a fucking retard and you will soon learn that you are a retard and you cannot make good decisions. So very predictably, Milo turned on Nick Fuentes and Ali Alexander and has revealed that Ali Alexander has been trying to solicit sexually explicit photos of multiple underage boys that were in the America First movement, uh, including one person named Smiley the Fed, who was a 15-year-old when Ali Alexander tried to coerce him to provide pictures of his penis for him. And everyone knew it. 
uh, apparently. Everyone in America First apparently knew that Ali Alexander was a, was a boy-loving, bisexual brown man. And Nick has, even to this point, said that he stands by Ali Alexander because he was loyal to him when nobody else was. Which just makes me think that Nick Fuentes is even fucking dumber than I previously imagined. How do you not realize how idiotic that is? Like, at what point... Like, I understand. Uh, I, actually, I don't. I don't understand. I, I know that there is virtue in loyalty. But at that point, it's purely transactional, Ari. You're saying you have sucked my dick for enough time, and I can, o I, I can overlook pederasty in my white nationalist Christian organization full of young men. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> how how fucking retarded do you have to be? Apparently, the same kind of fucking retard who trusts Milo Yiannopoulos. And now Milo's dumping all this shit. I won't go over all of it. If you want to read the leaks, there is a thread in the Catboy Deconversion Therapy called Milo Yiannopoulos versus Nick Fuentes and Ali Alexander. Um, Milo is dumping everything that he possibly can because he actively acquires dirt on people because he's a conniving homosexual Jewish man coal burner and everyone knows what kind of a person he is um and you can read that if you want to i'm not going to however i would like to read these these are responses anonymous telegram messages i think um by groypers and i think a lot of them are like sarcasm and jokes but they're very funny so i'm going to read them these are from the groypers in response to the news of ali alexander soliciting news from from minors None of this shit, Milo, none of this Milo shit is damning enough for me. What I really need is a video of Ali raping a boy before I'll believe he's a pedophile. Another says, I'm sure Floyd a groiper has a sex tape somewhere. Another says, what the fuck is wrong with grooming? I'm grooming like a dozen groipers right now, and I'm getting groomed right now by Joe the Boomer. Big deal. Another says, every guy and his uncle has been groomed via Snapchat or Instagram DMs. It's not just me. Another says, I for one am completely shocked that everything we've been saying for the last three months turns out to be true. Another says, and frankly, if Ali was a hot Aryan white Chad, we can continue to look the other way, but he has to be the most ugly pedophile I've ever seen, and that's just not okay. Another says, I still refuse to believe it. Did he even really rape anyone? Heh, not enough proof until I get an Ali DNA sample from a gro <laughs> from a groiper's saucy little booty hole. <laughs> Another says, no nut, no crimes, as I always say. Another says, Milo is basically the boy who cried wolf in this. He spends so much time cl <laughs> clout chasing and trying to drag people through the mud. He isn't always believable. And in this situation, they made a fat fucking mess. This is why we need to avoid narcissistic homosexuals, regardless of their current disposition. These people are insane and manipulative and untrustworthy. Wow. Holy shit. A fucking sane person in the grapers. Can you believe it? Another says Milo had this list supposedly, but offered none of this information for years and is now blaming people for and Nick for not believing him. LOL. Never trust the faggot. Another says, oh my goodness, the notorious anal sex haver and narcissist constantly engaged in feuds wasn't believed, wasn't believed the one time it may have mattered. Shocking. I am shocked. Another says, I talked to Milo about the alley shit last year and his reply was that keeping his powder dry, he basically wanted all of this to help him when he inevitably got removed from the American first sphere. It's not about justice or truth for Milo. It's about personal vendettas, revenge, blackmail, and self-promotion. He's scum and so is Ali. Yeah, no shit. Maybe your Mexican leader of the white race should have identified two fat, self-aggrandizing, self-enriching snakes um, who are obviously untrustworthy snakes uh, admit like both of them are gay just stick to the one thing that you're good at nick fluentes hate gay people and cut them out they're both gay you know that they're both gay why are you why are you talking to them why are you letting them take reins in your movement if, if you had literally just been more homophobic and honest about it you would have spared yourself all this frustration uh, but whatever. Uh, this was, I think this is Nick Fuentes talking to Brittany and 
Mayo uh, from Politically Provoked called the Zog Slop Coffee Shop. This was retweeted by Right Wing Watch, but the clip I think came from the Kiwi Farms. And I'll play you uh, Fuentes' response. Look at his telegram. This is the case. Uh, it's all over there. And I know that Ali was bisexual. I know that that's the case. And I know that he's flirty. Mm. Um, like he flirted with me when I was, you know, 19 <laughs> oh. or 20. And uh, and he had flirted with other people. Mm. Uh, he knew. He had flirt been flirted with this guy, and he still kept him around because he was useful. Like what an absolute fucking blunder, <laughs> for real, for real, for real. No cap, no cap. Um, these are some choice selections of Milo Yiannopoulos talking to Nicholas J. Fuentes, and inshallah we will be able to read them. But maybe not. The file server is currently exploding because I'm trying to download 8 terabytes of data. Milo Yiannopoulos says, Do a better job marketing Saturday. Turnout today was pathetic. You can't be talking to such small groups. It makes you look ridiculous. Fix it. Nicholas J. Fuentes says, I was losing my mind today when I saw the small crowd. He says, You are starting to feel unthreatening. This does not please me. Uh, America first child. <laughs> I kind of want to slip into <laughs> my, um, my breathy Patrick voice. Nick J. Fuentes says, give me some advice with a co very kawaii emoticon. My little reply saying, Staten Island, what weekday, date, time, word, location. You fucked up everything that could possibly have been fucked up. Nick says, I know, I know, I know, I know. But Milo says, but neighbor, seriously. When I was where you said where you are, I said, meet me in a bar in an hour in some random town and had 500 people. This is not good enough. How do I get taller? LOL. I don't know if that's re regarding height or like audience. Like when you say building taller in a video game, that means like not getting bigger, but more developed and shit. I guess he's talking about Ali. Milo says, how many of your fans does he have to molest? 1 to 5, 6 to 10, or 11 to 20? Nick says, I don't know. I didn't see him buy a ticket. I think after 50, we're probably going to have to cut him off. Milo replies saying, ha, 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 okay, okay. By the way, Milo Yiannopoulos was canceled from Breitbart years ago because he was in an interview where they were discussing pederasty when he was still an open homosexual. And he said that it's completely normal for a young boy and a older man to have sexual relations because the average age of, of losing your virginity as a, as a gay man is like 14. And that comment came out and it pissed people off. So that's how it got kicked out of Breitbart. Uh, this, I mean, this like it, Milo's character has been known for literally a decade at this point. There is no surprises here. This has been talked. This was national news <laughs> years ago. Um, I, I, I don't think anyone's getting surprised. Uh, Nicholas J. Fuentes says, jokes aside, yeah, it's an issue. Milo says, I'll stand down. I'm just saying he wants to come to AFPAC to blow 17 year olds rant over. Nick says, you're right. You're right. The loomer thing is so keck though. I love pushing her buttons. Milo says, you know, as well as I do that a thousand young men, he will end up finding someone look the other way and reach out privately or call. Ali was the, I mentioned this, also got Ralph's Twitter back. And Ralph has had a hard time disavowing him even after this because, I mean, the the man got him back on Twitter, saved his fucking life. He owes him blood, man. If he has to sacrifice a thousand young boys on Moloch's altar to get that Twitter back, it's got to be done. You know, what, what, what can I say? What can I say? I got to do what I got to do to provide for my family. Um, what is this in context to Milo released some text given to him between Ali and the teenage Groiper that took place on Good Friday showing Ali inviting the Groiper to his house you can tell me anything and I'll say between us really appreciate that man I'm glad you finally uploaded your face 
I can be a bad Christian. Oh my god. I want all these people to, to be thrown into a fucking pit. So can I. Nobody's n not perfect, man. Like, I saw how I acted before, but that's not who we are 90% of the time. You know I'm looking for a preacher. You're a visionary. You have the information in the network. Even the Christians go to war. Even the Christians lust. I only like loyalists, and I'm a control freak. I have different levels of closeness to me. Important qualities for a leader. Have a good day. Praise God. One of these days, you should drive to Austin, Austin for dinner. Nick knew. That's really gross. Well, I have a feeling that Nick is going to get what's coming to him. He's going to get what he fucking deserves, as they like to say. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.